Everybody, I'm going to take my mask off. I'm not going to talk to you in the box. being here. So you all are familiar with the space, so I don't need to introduce it, but this is Creative Sanctuary, um, and we're really so thrilled that community music groups are, are meeting here, and today is just about everyone getting together, showing the other groups what you've been up to, and uh, it's not really a performance, it's not a high-pressure scenario, it's kind of a show and tell. And uh, we're live streaming it too, so anyone watching far away can uh, any of your family members or friends far off can, can check it out. And uh, let's see, what else do I want to say besides, uh, 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 um, the, the sanctuary is supported by grants and by donations. And uh, the more grants and donations we get, the sweeter deals we can give to, uh, to groups like this and the more community events we can have. So um, if anyone wants to donate, uh, you know, I know this is like everyone here who's part of the group, but if you want to donate, um, there is a spot to do that on the way out the door. And Blake, how about uh, you take it away? I'll be back to my mouth more later. We're, we're going to keep everything short. Sorry, one more thing. We're going to keep everything short. So if everyone can stick around after you're done, that would be great. If you have to take off, totally understood. But I think uh, Sweet Harmony and the the uh, in, the community music group are going to really be like. 10 or 15 minute performances. So the whole thing should be wrapped up by one. Great. Thank you. All right, my name is Blake Ritter. I've been doing a fiddle class here at the uh, sanctuary. And uh, we have three different groups, three uh, kind of different uh, age and sort of uh, skill ranges. Uh, we're going to start with our youngest group. So. Uh, uh, Linnea, Galaxy, and Fiona, you guys can come on up here. So you guys can each have a stand. Uh, do you need to do Okay, so you can just move this aside. So we can turn it out of the way. Well, actually, you know what? I want to do it. So we're going to start off here with uh, everyone's all of our fiddlers, all the groups have learned this song, so you'll probably hear it again, kind of a little faster, a little more uh, dramatic perhaps than this time. Um, and this song is called The Soup Dragon. Oh. <laughs> so, guys, uh, let's get some food. This one. Is great.
tonight's uh, slow uh, Irish song. The previous one was a Scottish jig, and this is an Irish waltz. So, don't worry. All right.
all the other fiddlers that are hanging out in this room, uh, come on down. All right, so uh, we'll have you in the back. Let's make sure that we have, uh, have Jackson, uh, Karina, Avery, and Bodie all definitely in the back. So you guys line up first. And then uh, we'll have you uh, next to Laurel. You guys are playing back on the parts. So you bow the cello with your violin. Thanks, <laughs> Bertie. Um, and then let's have uh, let's have Carson and Salo. Have you guys up front here? And who needs the music? Stand? Is there one Apple that needs one? Could everyone move down like a person or so? Okay. So we're going to start with. Um, all right. Well, here's uh, a portion of our group. We have the group is actually normally probably double this size, but there was a you know number of conflicts today, so we have a, our condensed group. Um, and we're going to start out with a nice uh, slow waltz. This is a Scottish waltz uh, known as Leaving Uist, which is actually a real place, weird name, real place. And then uh, we're going to play after it another Scottish song written by the same guy, a man named Fred Morrison, uh, a song called The Lockheaver Badger. Here, why don't everyone scoot down one more person? So we're all in the rows here.
Thank you. 
are you boys? These are both Irish. The second one is known as the Salamanca. And uh, yeah, we've been working on this set for a good while. These ones are pretty tricky tunes. Really proud of how everyone has really uh, done a great job learning these. And uh, yeah, without further ado, <laughs> shake those, shake those hands up.
a Canadian dude, but it's uh, in reference to a native, an Inuit, in fact, Inuit owl spirit that guides uh, souls to the afterlife, known as the Ukpik. So this is uh, the song in honor of that spirit. And yeah, without further ado, uh, yeah, too much chocolate. Um, one, two, three, one, two.
finding out more about Sanctuary upcoming events and staying in the loop, we have an email sign-up sheet at the door. Write it down, we'll add you to the list. Um, we have a, a new art show up in the gallery in there uh, by artist Brian Schoenman, who's really um, amazingly active in the Eureka Arts community and has this really beautiful series of illustrations. So please check it out. We'll have an opening uh, at the June Arts Arcade. The last, okay, two other things. So uh, we have a call for workshop proposals right now. Um, any type of creative workshop that you can imagine, we're open to. We have some grant funding and we have applications that, uh, or people, we're trying to get people to submit by May 29th. So we can make a decision if we have like a workshop series. So check that out. And then the last thing is that next week is the donation dash big event at HSU. The sustainability team there coordinates all these different nonprofits to try to help divert resources from the landfill. And we're talking tons, literal tons of resources. Food, clothes, household goods, everything you can imagine. Um, we go up and help with that and we also get to uh, use whatever resources we find to have a yard sale event and raise money for the sanctuary. So, if you like sorting through trash and scoring cool things, <laughs> on the us, if that's not your thing, you can still come, uh, you can donate things to our yard sale, things you need to get rid of, you know, go to a good cause, you can come help out, there's going to be live music, pop Halloween, please, local mariachi band from Cal Poly is going to play at the yard sale, so. No, there's going to be two bands. Oh, yes. Oh, howling the police, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a good thing. So, yard sale on May 21st down Alliance Road at our buddy's property. So, um, if you're interested in volunteering, I'm going to pass this around. And we'll come to you back. All right, sweet harmony. Thank if you, you don't want to dig around in the trash list, you can just like give us tons of money, too, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the donation to that actually is, is a real, really great event and really, really fun. Um, in some great way. Well, uh, wow, it's so nice to actually have the people in the room. It's been such a rare thing. I was thinking maybe we could start, we always have these warm-ups that we do, and one of them that I really like is where we just all breathe together. So I just thought maybe we could just, everyone breathe in. We breathe in for four beats, like inhale. And then we exhale for six. You can just do it through your nose. So. next one. How about everyone make a humming sound, any humming sound. Inhale. And now hum. Thank you. 
All right, now since it's the middle of the day, it's uh, such a nice day, we're going to play a lullaby. <laughs> This one I remember from when I was a kid watching the movie The Three Amigos with Steve Martin and Mark Short and uh, his Chevy Chase. So.
pretty good. It's pretty cool. On, on some ball is a ridiculous plan of words that I came up with. For no particular reason, it's like an ensemble, but it's an ensemble like you're sitting on an exercise ball or something. So, uh, uh, members of Ensemble Ball, we have some, one of them is sick and one that are out of town, so we have a, a smaller group, but uh, make, your, make your way to the bandstand here. You're around. And let's see. May I also want to just encourage people to introduce yourself to someone you don't know here, so uh, we can have a. Uh, if you want to. I guess I have an easy chance to let's pull up people there. Yeah, that's true. Vocal group as well.
So I think Laura, you read it and then look at whoever you want to play. Okay. To lead and then someone starts it and then everyone else slowly joins in. Okay. And we'll keep everyone to like 20 seconds long or something. Or, you know, 30 seconds at the most so we don't go on and on. And uh, we'll just make a little, make a little picture. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, someone I love once gave me a box full of darkness. It took years to understand how this too was a gift.
If you just look at it briefly, you'll realize that you're going to need a couple hours. But I, I would suggest walking through them and taking a look anyway. And if it piques your interest, come back and spend some time with it. It's a pretty amazing um, piece. Uh, I could go on and on Brian's an amazing artist. So uh, without further ado, let's see. I will search for my brain here.